and we did a hair camping session many, many months ago. You can see how all this original hair paintings all weathered into the hair at this point. So today we did a base color, which is really just a level six ash with some lighter violet so that we can create this really soft natural color as if she never colored her hair because she's got some grays. And what we're doing is we're just doing another session of painting. So I want to kind of give you guys a quick tutorial since the last video I did got so many hits. I want to show you guys how I do the hair painting. So I like to start out with a nice classic triangle. And I like to use the saran wrap so I can see my previous painting underneath. And I like to use an old fashioned paddle. And I like to load the front part of my brush up. Not too messy. And I want to be able to use my wrist and my fingers to really draw in the hair painting. And you want to get a nice smooth slide going of where you want to see this color to live. And you want to be able to stay on your line and reload your brush when you're ready, holding the hair nice and taut, and then feathering it up, gliding, and really just feeling it because it's very it's very cerebral to paint. It's different than foiling. And then I use my paddle and I angle it and I start loading up more heavy product at the bottom to create that pop. And then I go back in and smooth out my product to get a really beautiful finish on it. And then I'm going to place another piece of ceramic. But this form of painting is very free flowing, it's almost got like a ballet feel to it, and you have to kind of just be like a hair whisperer, and just go with the flow, and figure out where you want these pieces to live. So I'm going to put a saran over it, we'll do another section. And I just lay that in, and it just stacks right into place. And I always try to brick lay what I'm doing. And this is fun to do while the base color is on, so you can get it all done in one session. And you get a really nice view of this weathered, settled in balayage. This is probably five months old at this point. I'm going to take a nice triangle. I've got this nice weathering at the bottom for the previous session. And we're just going to pop it a little bit. You can really control the fine lines with proper brush control. Just keep reloading and drawing and sliding. Lining. And then make a nice V and merge them together with your palette. It's all about control. And you can see what's left underneath, so now I'm going to kind of brick lay so that I'm not lining them up to create stripes. I like to go a little higher around the face, a little lower back here in this area. So maybe I'll just paint it like much lower down here, just to get that bottom pop. The more irregular you're painting, the more organic and pretty it's going to be. I put my saran on a paper.